day one, game one, and you already have a target on your back. It ain't easy being a ball brother. Let's talk about the time Lonzo Ball got bullied in his first ever NBA game. From the day his sons were born, LeVar Ball has had a plan for his boys. That plan was for every son of his to achieve their dreams and become stars in the NBA. Two out of three ain't bad. LeVar was trying to speak everything into existence, telling everyone he could be Michael Jordan, that his sons will be the greatest of all time, and that he guarantees championships for whoever drafts his sons. Big words from the big baller brand. Ball Sr. was writing checks that were going to be difficult to cash. His oldest son Lonzo would be the first to enter the NBA. Drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers second overall in the 2017 draft, Lonzo Ball had exactly what you want from your point guard. Great size, amazing passing ability, and great athleticism. After his introductory press conference, Lakers legend Magic Johnson decided to add fuel to the fire, calling Lonzo the face of the Lakers and going even further and saying, we expect a ball jersey hanging up there one day. This is all before Lonzo has played his first game. Serious pressure on the young point guard. The newly minted Lakers seemed unfazed by the pressure and showed out in a big and bad way in the NBA Summer League, winning the tournament and taking home MVP. The hype train is taking off. Next stop, the regular season. With all this hype behind him, there were bound to be haters. Enter King Hater Patrick Beverly. With game one of the regular season being the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Clippers, you can bet that Pat Bev had the date circled on his calendar. The Clippers point guard was ready to derail the Lonzo hype train real quick. Known for being a trash talker and an extremely physical point guard, Patrick Beverly was ready to give Lonzo Ball his welcome to the NBA moment. Right from the tip-off, Beverly went right into the rookie point guard's chest and made his life a living hell right from the jump, pushing him around, bullying him, and talking trash the entire time. The Clipper guard was having a fun time, but for Lonzo, the game must have felt like a nightmare. The Lakers lost by 16. Not only that, but Lonzo only managed to score three points shooting on an abysmal 17% from the field. A difficult day at the office. Beverly would continue to go at Lonzo in the press, calling guarding Lonzo easy. Unlike his famous father, the rookie point guard decided to be low-key and not say too much. A smart young man. Unlucky for him, his father speaks for the both of them. LeVar was quoted as saying, quote, they better beware because Lonzo ain't losing again. No, in the same week, end quote. His quote was heard by an upcoming opponent, the Washington Wizards. The Wizards big man Marcin Gortat laid down a warning for the young Lakers point guard. The Polish center claimed that Washington Wizards superstar point guard John Wall was going to torture Lonzo Ball. While Wall didn't talk as much trash as Patrick Beverly, he let his play on the court do all the talking. While the Wizards lost the game, the former number one overall pick got the better of the ball. Unfortunately for the young point guard, the rest of the NBA was going to be like this. Player after player would go at Lonzo Ball and try and one-up him every chance they could. However, as time went on, the oldest ball brother would step up to the plate and refuse to be pushed around anymore. Today, Lonzo is known as one of the best defensive point guards in the league. He has gained the respect of everyone in the NBA. He got knocked down nine times, and he got up ten. A true warrior. With less pressure on his shoulders and more maturity, Lonzo Ball is playing his natural game and is showing the world what he is capable of. His mental toughness has shown through, and he is showing the world, you ain't messing with this ball, brother. 